Hello everyone. Welcome to Finical Conclave 2021 and the session Unlock Agility and Resilience with Cloud. The objective of the session is to provide you an insight on how we are carving out better value for our customers by leveraging cloud. Initially, everyone was exploring cloud possibilities. Then few banks started testing with limited non-critical workloads. In today's paradigm, we see cloud is prevalent in all segments of banking, be it retail, be it SME, or the corporate banks. Tier one banks, regional players, wants to derive benefits of scale on cloud to a bank which is in community segment, want to derive a complete solution with minimum IoT footprint. All of them are exploring benefits of cloud. There are financial institutions which are leveraging cloud for their new line of digital business or for venturing out into new geographies. For all of them, cloud becomes the default choice and we are experiencing this phenomena across the regions. Let me show you what Finical on Cloud does to carve out value for our customers. As we have seen, this is a space where all segments of banks prevail. Likewise, to support a diverse set of clients and the business requirements, we offer cloud native solutions, which run on Dockers, which is widely accepted container form, and are orchestrated using Kubernetes, which is gaining a lot of popularity in market which helps us deploying Finical cloud agnostic. Our whole philosophy is to be cloud neutral, which in turn gives choice to our banks to select cloud platforms. Today, all leading Finical solutions are available on cloud deployment. Finical offers unique flexibility to our customers for deploying Finical on private, public, or multi-cloud setup and even run this as a SaaS offering, which is fully managed by Finical and Infosys. I would request KRV, Head of Finical Architecture, who is on the forefront of driving old technology innovations around Finical, to provide an insight about Finical cloud readiness and what we bring for our customers. Thank you, Gaurav. And I hope all of you are having a great conclave thus far. The reason that Finical Architecture has been asserting itself as being not just cloud native, but cloud only, is owing to the fact that the benefits of a cloud native Finical are being made available universally on public cloud and on private cloud models on premise. Technical tools such as Docker and Kubernetes are being used to enable us to easily deploy on most public and private cloud infrastructure. Vendor specific platform as a service offerings have evolved as the adoption on a specific platform has grown. Today, our cloud-native Finical system takes minutes to deploy and set up. It can elastically scale up and down based on load and ensures a near constant response time and has minimal downtime due to patches. As a result of our technology choices, our cloud architecture has progressed along the lines of being largely cloud agnostic. We have completed Finical deployments on AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, and on OpenShift. The coming months will see us complete our formal product certifications on all these major cloud platforms. Gaurav, who just spoke to you, has been working a lot with our customers globally to solution our cloud platform. I will now request him to share a view of the various solution offerings that he sees emerging in the market today. Thanks, KRV. From a business point of view, Finical SaaS offerings bring two variants for our customer to accelerate their cloud journey. First, Finical as a service, in which we offer all Finical solutions to our customers on a SaaS model, so that the bank focuses more on their end customers without bothering about the application support side. Second, banking application ecosystem as a service. As the world moves towards more open banking, integration, co-innovation with ecosystem becomes very important. And the cloud acts as a catalyst in that. We have invested heavily in providing third-party application integrations out of the box and come as standard to support local requirements, like in areas of reporting, fraud 
AML, risk management. All these kind of setups are specific to a region or a market where we see a lot of homogeneous mix. Requesting KRE to provide a deeper insight on what, have, what we have done from a technology standpoint to make cloud beneficial for our customers. Thank you, Gaurav. Really insightful to see all these wonderful models evolving around cloud. Finical core services are based on process-based stateless architecture. This is completely in tune with the 12-factor cloud application development principles, where processes are considered as the first-class citizens of the cloud world. Our architecture journey over the past 18 months has focused on leveraging these core strengths and making invasive changes based on the 12-factor principles to become a truly cloud-native product. I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about the key tenets and principles of our architecture that are helping us leverage the true power of cloud. Let me start first with containers. Our containerization approach is based on Docker as the image distribution standard for all our product images. Docker is compliant to the Open Container Initiative. All Finical containers use a maximum of one virtual CPU and two gig of RAM. Any scaling further is with pod replicas and happens automatically, whether scale out or scale back, to adjust to the traffic needs. They also come with liveliness probes and readiness probes to ensure the health of the services. Usage of a service mesh architecture based on Istio lets us capture a rich set of request and response level metrics, including flow rates, average 90th percentile and 99th percentile response times, error rates, and statistics, which can be integrated back into a cube native tool like Prometheus for wonderful visualization. Next is microservices. Microservices play a big role in our architecture. Our microservices will be pragmatic in nature. A host of new age companies have created a plethora of microservices and are now focusing on consolidation of these microservices into a domain or a bounded context. Finical, on the other hand, has a rich domain context and we are guided by the principles of domain-driven design. Given the fact that Finical already has a very mature domain, our focus will be on a decomposition of this domain and this is what is driving the evolution of our microservices today. The past few months has seen us make some very good progress towards better technology. Postgres was made GA as part of UBS 11.11 .11 release. We completed our internal AWS performance benchmark. We made our first developer release of our customer-facing DevOps pipeline. We improved on our ability to operate Finical better by improving our ability to observability, by supporting open tracing, and agents such as AppDynamics. Today, APAs and events are mutually complementary technical constructs, and both have to coexist to excel at cloud and digital business. Our design has evolved towards a data-driven model, and we are now sharing data by growing on the theme of eventing and APIs to make data available for both analytics and innovation. A consistent way, indeed, to innovate better with Finical. Digital Accelerator went into production and is starting to deliver significant performance improvements and significant TCO reduction. We are starting to leverage Redis for right transactions as well. This will see us distribute our concurrency data model and accelerate Digital Accelerator by the smart use of an eventual consistency model. Thus far, we have made great progress on cloud. Starting with a simple infrastructure as a service model, we now have the ability to deploy in a true cloud native model with production deployments to serve as the proof of the pudding. We will continue to accelerate our cloud agnostic journey via rapid certification on major public cloud platforms and demonstrating our performance and security readiness on these platforms. This and DevOps will be key to help our customers transform better with Finical. Towards this end, the Cloud Native Compute Foundation encourages a community of high quality open source projects that encompass the complete ecosystem needs of Cloud Native applications. To underpin our commitment to Cloud Native architecture and open source components, we've enrolled as a silver member on the CNCF and Linux foundations. 
being a silver member will allow us to participate in all marketing, community, and thought leadership opportunities of the CNCF. It also allows us access to the Linux Foundation's initiative only Linux Foundation Member Summit. This opportunity will allow us to play an active role in the evolution of the cloud native ecosystem and more importantly, its adaptation to Finical's cloud native journey. Our technology choices have largely been inspired by the CNCF. To share an example with all of you, we were planning to use Docker's form initially when we were starting off on our cloud journey. CNCF clearly pointed to Kubernetes as the evolving standard and as a de facto player in the space, and we moved to Kubernetes. This has enabled our cloud agnostic journey as all cloud players today have embraced Kubernetes. This, along with an adaption of OCI compliant Docker images, has allowed for us to pursue a truly poly cloud journey for our cloud platform. Now banks of various sizes and personas have successfully leveraged our cloud native products. Gaurav, you could perhaps talk about how Santander and a few other global customers have transformed their digital business processing platforms on the basis of Finical. Infosys Finical powers Santander's UK international cash management business and strengthens their multi-channel offering by making it more accessible through any device of their choice. Santander is utilizing Finical's proven digital offering, which includes Finical online banking, digital engagement hub, payments and liquidity management solution. Finical liquidity management solution has enabled multi-bank reporting and cash management capabilities, which include sweeping, target balancing, and notion pooling for the bank. The solution is also providing an aggregated view of customer balances across multiple accounts and a view of liquidity position across Santander's global banking group. The design of the offering helps accelerate further payment innovations and manage changes easily and on demand. Finical solution is made available on a cloud hosted environment, ensuring quick time to market, improve underlying infrastructure, and allow greater efficiency and scalability for the bank. Likewise, taking another example, uh, this is a transformation journey of a foreign subsidiary of a largest bank in Philippines. Having obtained license uh, from the Mass Authority of Singapore in December 17 to create an entity in Singapore, the mandate was to start a Singapore operation by December 2018. This transformation is actually a classic example of how bank can leverage digital banking solution on a public cloud infrastructure to, imp to power speed to market in new countries scale the infrastructure as they grow and have cost efficiencies. The bank partnered with Finical for this strategic program with a stringent timelines to go live in seven months to address the requirement of bank and launch their operations in Singapore. Finical proposed a cloud-based end-to-end managed service model for the bank. The implementation involved delivery of complete digital banking suite of Finical. With Finical, the bank has actually benefited in providing an uninterrupted banking to the customers at lower operational cost. Speed to market and cost effective launch of new products enhance operational efficiency, low TCO, flexibility to scale the infrastructure according to the requirements on cloud. Also, it added up to ensure a 24 by seven uptime for the application reduce technology risk along with the adherence of security and compliance guidelines as asked by Singapore authorities. I'll request KRB to add on certain more examples from a cloud point of view. Thanks, Gaurav. The case study that I'd like to talk about next is that of Goldman Sachs and Marcus. Goldman Sachs embarked on an initiative to launch a direct bank with the goal of providing consumer loans in a direct-to-consumer model. The key business driver was to lower the cost of acquisition. Marcus chose Infosys Finical Core Banking Solution Suite to manage the complete consumer loan servicing lifecycle. The bank 
chose a fully cloud-based model, allowing markers to achieve the necessary scale, as well as provide enhanced functionality, business confidence, and security to its consumers. Marcus has designed and built modern technology operations by ensuring straight-through processing across digital channels to the Finical solution. Leveraging Marcus's technical architecture, the Finical solution was optimized using REST APIs, event processing through Apache Kafka stream processing platform, and process orchestration capabilities. The innovations with Finical saw Marcus cross the billion dollars in total originations in just eight months of launch, and that number was over 1.7 billion within a year of launch. The deposits at Marcus also grew by over $5 billion to $17.1 billion about a year after launch, nearly doubling the balances when they enter the business, thus delivering the value and the expectations of the program. So that brings us to the end of this session. Um, I'd like to conclude by saying that all of us at Finical are super excited about the progress that we have made on cloud. We are equally enthused by the possibilities that the better technology promise can further deliver on cloud. We look forward to unlocking agility and resilience with cloud in partnership with you. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.